So I'm starting off by plotting out my lines. I've only kept one lamp on. This lamp is to my right, so it's casting a shadow on the left side of my face. So I'm just basically following the lines I see, the lines that are naturally forming. Wherever is light, I leave it bare, and whatever is dark, I just uh, outline it with black so I can fill it in entirely. So now with my regular lighting, I'm just going over the outlines, just neatening them up and I'm filling in my eyebrows in a sort of cartoony shape. I'm making them quite graphic and boxy and I'm starting to fill in the dark area with black. I'm using a very thin brush for this and I'm going to go over this entire area with a bigger brush for the black and the white as well, just so I get a more opaque result. I'm drawing the lines near my cupid's bow and I'm also filling in my laughter line because that looks more realistic even though it's not the most flattering thing in the world. And I'm filling in half my lips with black because they're going to be half of them are going to be in the shadow and the other half is going to be white, so in the light. Same goes for the chin, for the neck and the entire chest. The chest is mostly out of shot for this video, but you'll get a better look of it at the end. So this is my bigger brush that I mentioned before. I'm filling in the entire area with black, including my neck, my chest, my armpits, and my ears. And on the right side of my face, that's supposed to be lit up, I created a fake cheekbone, but I did the line a bit thicker than I meant to. It kind of looks like a sideburn now, so if you do it, I would suggest you do it a little thinner than that. I'm filling in the other brow in the same cartoony way. This is a very flat look. The contrast between the black and white is supposed to be very stark and very neat. So I'm just adding shadows as I go. Here I'm creating a fake crease just so I make my lid look a lot bigger. And I'm also moving on to my lips. I'm outlining them and leaving them bare for now. They're going to be filled in with white in a bit. I'm drawing in a fake crease on the right eye as well and I'm also adding a few lashes which are not completely adjacent to my top lid but rather on top of the crease which wouldn't make much sense in real life but you know with it being a cartoon and all I thought it was kind of visually pleasing so I went with that and you'll notice that the eye that is closer to the shadow has a lot fewer lashes. That's because they wouldn't be as visible because half of them are covered by the darkness. I'm joining up the lines of my eye with those of my nose so I can better define the bridge of the nose and I'm also adding a tad more shadow on the chin and I'm following the exact same logic on the neck and the rest of the chest. And now time for my white. I'm painting my entire face and chest area with my white Kryolan paint and that caused a few of my black lines to look a bit weak around the edges, so not that crisp. But I'm going to go over them in a bit and neaten them up again and frankly that is the most time-consuming part of this look. It's not a complicated look, it's just black and white and you just follow the outlines of the shadow that we did in the beginning. But if you want to make it as neat and as crisp as possible, you will have to go over your black and white lines a couple of times, so this is what I'm doing here. As you can see, I've switched to a thinner brush for the smaller areas, the areas that require a lot more detailed work, and I'm trying to be as neat as possible. And I'm filling in the entire lid and whatever else is left bare before I move on to the lips. And for the lips, I want to add white lines to the black part of the lips and black lines to the white part of the lips, if that makes sense, just so the transition between light and dark is softer. And there you have the finished look. So here are a few close-ups. I also went ahead and added a bit of a fake cleavage, which is one of the perks of having a drawn-on chest area. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! This is my date night look. It could be a first date look or a second date look or whatever number date you want it to be. The point is to accentuate your best features and for the other person to be looking at you